All right, so the WTA draw is ready to go in Rome, and we've got a lot of players that played well last week in Madrid playing again this week. Let's go have a look at the players that are not playing this week because we do have a lot of withdrawal. Okay, so here is the current withdrawal list. You can see there Anisimova, she's pulled out. Bencic, Collins, Halep. Uh, Kvitova has pulled out, which is interesting because she did play Madrid. Uh, Rodokano, of course, is out. Siniakova, Tomanovic, Teague, and Song are all out of this event. Let's go to the top of the draw. So you can see there we've got 32 seeds in this one and all 32 seeds get a buy in the first round. Sviantek, number one seed. She'll take on either Pavlyuchenkova or Arani in the second round. Uh, then you've got Sharenko taking on Svetolina. Winner plays Pera, the 23rd seed. And Pera Sviantek played last week in Madrid, so we could get a rematch there. Uh, then you've got Vekic. She'll take on either Sasnovic or Fernandez in the second round, so that could be an interesting matchup. Then you've got Parks taking on Contivate. Winner of that will take on Samson over the 16th seed in the second round. So that's an interesting section. I think Sviantek's going to like it. Uh, you know, Samson over's been tough at times, but I mean, not recently. So so we'll see. You know, Vekic can do well. So I think Sviantek's going to like her draw, though. All right, next section of the draw, you got Sakri, number nine seed. She'll take on either Strikova or Zanevska in the second round. Uh, then you got Kinepi taking on Von Drusova. Winner of that will take on the number 24 seed, Andrescu. So Andrescu, Sakri, third round, potentially. And that matchup is always fire. Every time I watch them play, it's been three sets and epic. So the first time they'll play on a clay court, though, that could be really fun. Then you got Mertens. She'll take on either a qualifier or Kalinskaya in the second round. Then you got Paolini taking on Wong. Winner of that will take on the number seven seed, Rabakina. So now this this section is really stacked. You know, Zachary, Andrescu, Rabakina, of course. Kalen Sky has been in, beat Rabakina last week. Von Drusev is a former finalist at a slam. So uh, this could be a very interesting section. Of course, this section takes on the Sviantek section. Uh, so we could get Zachary taking on Sviantek. We could get Rabakina Sviantek uh, on a clay court, which I would love to see because I think that is advantage Sviantek if that does happen. All right, next section of the draw. You can see there we've got Jabur up the top of the draw. Number four seed should take on either Bedosa or a qualifier in the second round. Huge, huge matchup if it's Bedosa versus Jabur in that second round. Uh, then we've got Rossatello taking on Lou. Winner of that will take on the 32nd seed Kostyuk in the second round. Then you've got Trevison. She'll take on either Mukova or a qualifier in the second round. Then you've got another qualifier taking on Georgie. Winner of that match will take on the number 15 seed Alexandrova. So that's an interesting section. We don't know if Jabur is 100% back because, of course, she pulled out after the draw came out in Madrid. Pulled out sort of like 24 hours before the tournament uh, main draw started. Started. So big question mark whether she plays, but that Bedosa match is fire. But you've got players like Trevison who can play on clay. You've got Mukova, Georgie, Alexandrova proved last week she can play on clay against, you know, Sviontek. Remember getting a set off her. So that section, very open, especially with the question mark on Jabur. All right, next section is Krajikova. She'll take on either Bronzetti or Kovinic in the second round. Then you've got Volley Nets versus Kastaya. Winner of that will take on the number 20th seed, uh, Ostapenko. So Ostapenko, Krajikova, third round. That could be really fun. And uh, then you've got Teichman. She'll take on either Bren Kuhn or Grabber in the second round. Then we got Cherubini versus Pegato. So this section's a little more open. You know, Krajikova, Ostapenko, Kazakina are all capable of clay court tennis. Obviously, two of them are Grand Slam uh, French Open champions. Uh, but you know, castaya has been all right this year as well. Someone to watch out for. Teichman's not bad on clay either. So this could be an interesting section. And this section, of course, takes on the Jabur section. So uh, we could be getting Krajikova, Ostapenko, or Kazakina taking on uh, Jabur. But we don't know if Jabur's going to play. So it's a big opportunity for one of those ladies to possibly get to a semi. All right, bottom half of the draw now. We've got number six seed, Goff. She'll take on either Putin Seba or a qualifier in the second round. Then we've got McNally taking on uh, Spateri. Winner of that will take on the 27th seed, Buzkova, in the second round. Then we've got the 23rd seed, Potapova. She'll take on either Chokioretto or Davis in the second round. Then we've got Nimai taking on Diaz. Winner of that will take on the number 11 seed, Kudamatova, who had a really good week last week. So this section's also interesting. You know, we know Goff is capable of clay uh, court tennis. Hasn't been great so far on the clay. Uh, Potapova's been pretty good as well uh, uh, this year, and so has Kudamatova. So they're two, uh, two interesting names. So, uh, look, one of those three players probably gets out of this section, based on uh, recent form, or based on ranking. Then you got Pliskova, number 13 C. She'll take on either Maria or a qualifier in the second round. We're another qualifier taking on Cornet. Winner of that would take on Zhang, the 22nd seed. Uh, then you got Bagu, the 31 seed, taking on either uh, Stefani, uh, Stefanini or Wong in the second round. Then we got two qualifiers taking on each other in the first round. Winner of that battle will take on the number three seed, Pagula. In the second round, this section's interesting. Pagu had a great week last week. Uh, Pagula, also capable of clay court tennis. Really interesting section here. And this section takes on the Goff section. Uh, Pagula Goff, possible quarterfinal. Uh, if we're going to go by the big names, but it's probably not going to be that simple, I don't think, for those two ladies. All right, in the bottom sections of the draw, you can see there Garcia, number five seed. She'll take on either Bogdan or a qualifier in the second round. Then we've got Gracheva taking on another qualifier. Winner of that will take on number 29 seed, 
Martic in the second round, who had a really good week last week. Then you got Lynette, the 17 seed, taking on either Nuskova or Rogers in the second round. That's a good first round matchup. Then you got Zoo versus Fruvitoba. Winner of that match will take on the 12th seed, Haddad Meyer. So interesting section. You know, Garcia's not in good form, so it kind of opens things up a lot. Uh, you could get someone like a Lynette, who played well at the French Open last year, obviously has, having a really good season overall. Martic had a good week last week. Haddad Meyer did as well in doubles. So I don't know. This section feels like it could be the most open section uh, of the draw. And then the bottom section of the draw, you've got Azarenka, number 14C, will take on either Stevens or Podoroska in the second round. Then we've got Pauletti taking on a qualifier. Winner of that will take on Keys in the second round. Then we've got Kalanina. She'll take on either Sharif or Blinkova in the second round. Then you've got Kennan taking on Buxa. Winner of that will take on the number two seed, Sabalenka. In the second round, so Sabalenka, Azarenka, possible uh, fourth round. But I'm going to be honest, I think Sabalenka's going to like this because, you know, Sharif obviously pushed her last week. And of course, this section will take on the Garcia section. So possibly Sabalenka, Garcia. But like I said, I don't know if Garcia is going to make it out of that part of the draw. So Sabalenka, she's got to like her chances of making a deep run here like she did last year, making the semis. There it is. The ladies draw. Who is going to win Rome for the ladies? Of course, Fiontek is the two-time defending champion. Sabalenka's got a nice draw. I mean, there could be some hiccups in the first couple of weeks, depending on, uh, first couple of days, sorry, depending on, I guess, how fit she feels after winning Madrid and playing so much tennis last week. But I feel like she's got to like her chances. There's not too many massive threats there. So yeah, let me know. Who do you think is going to win this? Do you think it's going to be someone outside the box? Maybe someone outside the top two, which is, you know, someone like a Pagula or can Goff come good? Or maybe Garcia? Or do you want to go outside the top 10? Somewhere like Krajikova or maybe an Ostapenko or someone, you know, who has got clay court tennis uh, trophies. Maybe they can come in and win this tournament. But uh, there it is. The women's draw for Rome this year.